Welcome to another free e-learning tutorial from dacanane.com. In this second tutorial about Explain Everything, I'm going to show you how to prepare slides for your presentation and how to insert different objects from different sources. When I click on the Insert Object icon, I am presented with five different file type options. When I select Existing Photo or Video, there are a subsequent seven location options for me to choose my files from. First, I'm going to scroll through my images for a drawing I have made. When I've found my chosen image, all I need to do to select it is to just tap on it and explain everything loads a simple editor. I want to cut out the background of this image, and to do that I need to select the freeform tool and trace a line around the outside of my drawing. This is exactly the same operation as in Puppet Pals when creating characters. When I'm happy, I click Done, and then Done again to place into my first slide. Once the image is on my first slide, I can position it anywhere by moving it with one finger. To enlarge or reduce in size, I use the two finger stretch and pinch gesture. To rotate, I use the two finger twist gesture. I now want to add another image to this slide. To do this, I simply repeat the process. However, this time, when I make my selection, I will use the crop tool to crop a screen grab I made from a website. Once the image has been inserted into the slide, I can use the stretch and move gestures to finally position the image where I want it. However, by inserting a new image, I have created a new layer on the slide, and my initial image is now hidden. I don't want this. I want this isobar map to be my background. To change the layer order, all I need to do is to click on the information icon on the toolbar and then select the appropriate option from the pop-out menu. I selected the background option and my initial image reappears. By using this layer feature, it is possible to have many elements on a single slide as part of the final presentation. This feature makes Explain Everything work like Puppet Pals, but with many more features. My first slide is prepped for my presentation. Now I want to move on to the next slide. To create a new slide, all I have to do is to click on the Add Slide icon on the toolbar. I can keep track of slide numbers and order by using the slide counter in the bottom left of the screen. This also allows me to navigate between slides by using the arrows. On this second slide, I want to insert a text document into the slide. And to do this, I want to use a file from my Dropbox account. To link the Explain Everything to Dropbox, I need to sign in and allow the app access. Once the necessary handshaking has taken place, all that I need then need to do is to browse my Dropbox folders and select on my chosen file, and then let Explain Everything download a copy and place it on the slide. You can see from my folder here that Explain Everything is able to download a wide range of file types. I have chosen a small text-based file, so it should not take too long for Explain Everything to import it to the slide. Now that the file has been successfully imported to the slide, all that is left for me to do is to decide how I'm going to handle a file in my presentation. In this instance, I'm going to lock it in place, so that when I'm recording my presentation, the document will not inadvertently move around. I'm now going to create a third slide and then import a web page into the slide. Doing this can make, really make a presentation dynamic. To insert a web page, all that I have to do is to type the URL or paste the address if it's already been copied. When I press the Go button, my chosen web page is then imported into the slide. This page is now ready to be referenced to or browsed through during the presentation. I hope that you can see how crucial it is to prepare your slides well in advance of a presentation to ensure that everything is in place, rather than doing it ad hoc as part of the presentation. For the final two slides in this tutorial covering preparing slides for a presentation in Explain Everything, I'm going to show you how to add photo and video content to a slide using the iPad camera. I am confident that you are all very familiar with both of these two options on your own iPads. It is important that you know that importing images and video directly from your iPad camera is possible in Explain Everything, but I am sure that I do not need to explain this in a step-by-step -step fashion. What is more important for us all to consider 
is the learning potential that importing video into a slide and then being able to annotate over the top of the video and recording both actions can deliver to us in the classroom both in terms of teacher created content and student generated output. But that is all for the next tutorial when I will demonstrate how to record a presentation and then export it from Explain Everything to share via the various export options available to us. All that remains for me to do is to thank you all again for watching this tutorial and to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing you will ensure that you do not miss out on any of the new tutorials I am planning to publish in the coming weeks and months. Until the next tutorial, please remember that practice makes perfect, so keep practicing!